Okay, welcome back to members of 121 Community Church in Grapevine, Texas, and our ongoing study in God's Heart for the Nations, published in 2019. We are on Lesson 4, pages 32 to 38, and this really does give us a lesson on the revelation concerning God's true heart, God's intentionality. And we look at the Psalms, we look at uh, the prophets, and so it's a very good lesson on investigating what Revelation has unveiled for us concerning the heart and the intentionality of the living triune God. Let's go to block one, examining the Psalms for discovering God's heart. Psalm 67, 1 through 3, that your way may be known on earth, your saving power among the nations your way and your salvation, that they may be known. Psalm 2, 7 and 8. You are my son, I have begotten you. I will make the nations your possession. I will give you the nations to the ends of the earth. So, Kyrios Lordship is designated for the Son, Jesus Christ. Psalm 22, all the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord and worship before him. I love this one because it's three verbs. It's mimnesco. First, we remember the word of God. Then we epistrepho. Then we repent. We turn around. In the New Testament, that is metanoia, but uh, here it's epistrepho, turn it around, and then what? Proscuneo, then we bow before the Lord in worship. But it is all about um, repentance in Psalm 22. Psalm 57, I will sing praises to you among the nations, to your steadfast love as high as the heavens. And in the Greek it reads, I will acknowledge the living Lord God. I will acknowledge, ex amologeo, I will acknowledge the living Lord God, his mercy, his compassion, which are magnified under the heavens. The mercy of God is limitless. It is the love of our Lord God that holds us, that embraces us. Psalm 66 who rules by his might forever and keeps watch over the nations. And in the Greek it reads, God, the Lord God possesses a masterful domination type lordship and we are to cause to be heard the voice of his praise. We are to create that ministry that will cause the voice of the living Lord God to be heard. In other words, we will cause the living word, the living Lagos and the living Rhema to be heard. Psalm 72, blessed be the Lord who does ponderous things, that should be wondrous things. May his glory fill the whole earth. And here we're talking about May all creation be filled with the, in, remember doxa is incarnate glory. May all of creation be filled with the incarnate glory of the living triune God. And we know as believers that the Holy Spirit indwells. Every believer and the Holy Spirit indwells all of creation. And the Holy Spirit is lifting creation into restored reunification with God the Father. It is the work of the living triune God. We live in the realm of spirit. It is veiled by finitude, but with spiritual seeing and spiritual hearing, we see God's kingdom. We see an incarnate Holy Spirit. Psalm 96, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength, glory due to his name. Again, it is doxa glory. And we are to bring the message of doxa glory concerning the Lord to the world, to the nations, because it's due his name. It's due to his, his history is a history of incarnate glory. 
It is the incarnate curious lordship of the living Lord God. And then Psalm 98, he, ha he has remembered his faithfulness. The ends of the earth have seen the victory of God. And in the Greek, it doesn't read, he has remembered his faithfulness. It, is, it reads, he has remembered his truth. And who is the truth? The truth is a person. The truth is Jesus Christ. So by remembering the anointed one, by remembering the Messiah, the truth, the living truth of Jesus Christ, we behold the salvation of God. We behold the soterion to theu. We behold the salvation of God as we remember the truth as the Messiah, Jesus Christ. Tremendous Psalm 98. I love that. I love Psalm 98. Remembering the, the truth, the aletheia truth is spiritual truth of the living God. And aletheia truth is a person. It is the person of Jesus Christ. And he is the sotarian tuthayu. He is the salvation of God. He is the salvation of God and a co-eternal, co-substantial member of the triune God. Block two, further evidence for the nature of God's heart. Now we look at the prophets. Jeremiah 16. To you shall the nations come. I am going to teach them my power and might. I shall make known my dunamis, my potential power, and I also make known that my name is Kyrios. What do we learn in these scriptures? What do we learn in the Septuagint? God wants to be known. God wants to be proclaimed as the living Kyrios, Lord, Lord over heaven, Lord over earth, Lord over all creation. In the New Testament, who is declared Kyrios, Lord? Remember our last lesson. Jesus Christ is Kyrios, Lord. Ezekiel 36. I scattered them because of their idols, but for the sake of my holy name I will act and sanctify my great name. Then I will gather them. Three verb process. Israel was scattered due to idolatry, worshiping idols, the idol of self centeredness, this idol of selfishness. And sanctification is given to us as hagiadzo, and it is by God and God alone. And that applies to us as believers under the new covenant. How are we sanctified? We are sanctified by the truth. That's what it says in the Gospel of John. Who is the truth? Jesus Christ. We are sanctified by the truth. The truth shall sanctify you, it says in the Gospel of John. Jesus, speaking to his disciples, you should be sanctified by the Aletheia truth. Jesus Christ is the Aletheia truth. Then, because of God's sanctification, we are gathered into the covenant kingdom of God. We are gathered into the fellowship, the koinonia fellowship of the triune living God. And then Daniel 7, very interesting passage. Why is the Son of Man presented? To him was given dominion, glory, and kingship. There are three stages of kingship. I like this. All Reverencing Christ. Arche, a beginning is given to Christ. What? The beginning of new creation. It is inaugurated in the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. He is the Arche beginning of new creation. Time, Christ is given and uh, appointed with saving worth and value. He is the true value of salvation. It is the person of Jesus Christ. Then, he rules in lordship in an eschatological way, eschatological way moving toward the eschaton. So it's Jesus Christ, Arche, Jesus Christ, Timae, Jesus Christ, Kyrios, Lord.
Arche Timae Curias. The Basilea kingdom is a kingdom of his Curias lordship. Micah 4.2. What happens at the mountain of God? That he may teach his ways, that we might walk his paths. He will show his ways. Like Nuo, he will show his ways. And then we will travel his worn path. We will travel his worn path. That is what we do. We follow that which is revealed. Our teacher is the living word of Jesus Christ. He is our teacher. He is our rabbi. And through his word in scripture and in fellowship, we follow the worn path the worn sure path, the worn accurate path to the eschaton of the full realization of the doxa glory of the living God. Malachi 1.11 What does God declare concerning his name? It was made great among the nations. And I like the Greek in the Septuagint. God's name is doxadzo. It is glorified among the nations. What happens through the power of the incarnate Holy Spirit? It is lifting creation into restored reunification with the living triune God. And that means it is lifting creation into the realized doxa glory of the living triune God. And it takes place how? Through incarnate glory moving toward eschatological glory to realize fulfillment of God's kingdom. Tremendous passage in the Greek. I love it. It's doxazo. God's name is glorified. Who's going to give glory to God's name? Believers who see with spiritual seeing. We will give glory to God's name. Why? Jesus Christ is living Lord. He is at the right hand of the Father. Our last lesson, Jesus Christ is living Lord at the right hand of the Father. We will, for that reason alone, we don't even need anything else, for that reason alone, we will give glory to the name of God. We will give glory to God's name. We close out this lesson in Psalm 67. And if you go to block 3, may God make his face shine upon us, that his way may be known, and his saving power may be known. Because he judges with equity, he guides the nations. In the Greek it means we will know the way of salvation, the way of salvation. And we will ex amalogeo acknowledge the living Lord God. We will acknowledge him as we learn, as we know, we have more and more reason to acknowledge the living Lord God. And that acknowledgement will mean to acknowledge the living Lord God as judge. Who is the judge? Jesus Christ is the Krenos, judge over the living and the dead. And who is our guide? Who guides this kingdom? It is the curious lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. He is our guide. He guides us through his word. He guides us through his Holy Spirit. He guides us through his incarnate indwelling through his incarnate indwelling praise God Lord the Lord Jesus Christ through his Holy Spirit indwells us indwells the church indwells the kingdom and guides all toward the promised parousia eschatological return and it'll be a return that will be the realization of the full doxa glory It'll be new heaven and new earth. Tremendous blessings here. Tremendous blessings. We have to love this lesson for beautiful lesson. The Psalms testify to the compassionate, to the saving heart of the living Lord God. The prophets testify in block two to the power of the incarnate spirit of the living Lord God. And the fact that our sanctification relies on God alone. 
Hagiadzo sanctification. Block two, Hagiadzo. It's block two, note two, D two, Hagiadzo. We are sanctified on God's power, God's faithfulness alone. It is all God. It is all grace. It is the grace and the love of God through Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Messiah. We are Hagiadzo sanctified. And then block three, we will acknowledge his upright judgment at the right hand of the Father. We will acknowledge the guiding advocate, Jesus Christ, who guides and continues to guide his children. He is the good shepherd. And I'll end with that statement. Jesus Christ is the good shepherd. That's going to wrap up Lesson 4, pages 32 to 38. We'll pick up next time in Lesson 5.